It is time to go inside out as we welcome in SNY NBA insider Ian Begley. And after the trade news broke on Wednesday night, Kyrie Irving told reporters he was glad KD got out of Brooklyn. Now, we can roll our eyes at everything Kyrie says all we want, but why did these guys so desperately want out of Brooklyn? Yeah, I think he's giving you insight there into part of the issue. I think there was a, a disconnect between... Irving, Durant, maybe other players, and the front office. I think there were things that the that Irving and Durant wanted to see happen that didn't see happen. And then, obviously, what culminated last summer kind of crystallized everything with Kyrie Irving seeking a long-term deal, Nets not giving him the long-term deal, Josiah, Sean Marks not budging on not giving him a max deal then. Kevin Durant, obviously, trade request, and he includes in that trade request Firing Sean Marks, firing Steve Nash. A lot of people took that as just uh, an artificial way to force a trade, but I think there was there was reasons behind that. They were not always on the same page with management. I think that's just one factor into why this thing did not work the way anybody on all sides wanted it to. So over the past 13 months, the Nets have traded three future Hall of Famers and don't have a franchise player to show for any of those moves. So Ian, where does the franchise now go from here? You know, they have young, talented players just at this point. So I, I would say that I'm guessing that they want to compete as quickly as possible. I don't think, based on everything that I had heard over the past three years, that Joe Sy is interested in some long-term rebuild. I think he wants a competitive product on the floor. And they have the opportunity to build that. I mean, Mikael Bridges, a very, very good young two-way player. Cam Johnson, very good. Dorian Finney-Smith, very good. So that Nick Claxton, who is already on the roster, a very strong player. They have young, talented players. They have some draft picks to work with. So, you know, Sean Marks has some tools in his tool chest to build this thing out. It's just a matter of him making right decisions, successful decisions from here on out. All right, now let's jump over to the Knicks. They were linked to a few names, specifically Zach Levine. How real was, was that? And did this team need another move? Yeah, I don't think it got close. I, I think that they touched base, but everything that I had gathered throughout the afternoon was that they didn't get close, and they did tell somebody who was curious about the topic that it was highly unlikely to happen uh, earlier in the afternoon. So nothing happened there. Um, in terms of other moves, you know, I know they were in on Sadiq Bay At one point, Sadiq Bay traded to Golden State for James Wiseman, so obviously nothing comes to fruition there. They have some open roster spots, Amen. We were talking about Villanova guys. Maybe uh, maybe Corey Fisher gets a look, maybe Ray Allen gets a look. Who's the next Nova guy to get on this roster? 